heaven is a wonderful place. But heaven cannot allow sin. Sin cannot be in heaven. It would not be heaven. And you, in your sins, cannot go to heaven unless you tarnish what heaven is, what heaven's all about. Heaven's not made for sinners. Sinners don't go to heaven. They go to hell. And the fact is that mankind is a sinner. All of mankind. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And as a sinner, you will not go to heaven. I don't care if you've been baptized. I don't care according to the scriptures, if you are good, for there is none that doeth good. Your attendance in a church is not going to work. Sinners don't go to heaven. They go to hell. Sinners that do good And there are good sinners in hell. Sinners that attend church regularly or irregularly in hell there are, there are sinners that have gone to church. In hell there are sinners that belong to a church that were members of a church. Sinners don't go to heaven. But when you have the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world, now you have access of going to heaven. And going to heaven is that you are a sinner and you have been washed. You have been made clean through the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. That if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us. Where there's no belief, there's no confession, there's no forgiving, and there's no cleansing. You are a sinner. The wages of sin is death. Sinners don't go to heaven. They go to hell. But if you have been and have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, that thou shalt be saved. The same Lord Jesus Christ, if you believe with your heart. That God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And he that hath the Son hath 
everlasting life. If you are a sinner that has been cleansed through the blood of Jesus Christ, the same Jesus that suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures, That lamb, the lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world, where God has said to you, the sinner, come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Cleansing of sin is when you come to Calvary and you see Jesus Christ our Lord, our God suffering and dying according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Faith and trust and belief in that Jesus. The sinner that you are. Being cleansed by God who he is. By faith and belief. In that Jesus, the Jesus that is God, the God that is Jesus, the Lamb of God, is able to cleanse you of your sins, that you might be saved. And go to heaven. Now sinners don't go to heaven. But sinners that have been washed in the blood of Jesus. Through Jesus Christ alone. Blood washed sinners. The blood of Jesus Christ. By faith, not orally, go to heaven, are saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That is how you get out of hell and go to heaven. It is faith and belief in the finished work of Jesus Christ alone. There is nothing you do or can do there is nothing no man can do for the salvation of the entrance into heaven. It's all on the finished work of Jesus Christ alone. And that you believe it. And that you trust it. That if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, thou shalt be saved. No one who has put their faith and trust in the Lamb of God goes to hell. 
they go to heaven. That's what saved is. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Saved from what? Hell. The only salvation of getting out of hell is through Jesus Christ. And without Jesus Christ, you'll be without the gates of heaven. Peter is not going to check you in at the gate of heaven. That's a lie. Jesus Christ will check you through the gates of heaven, through his blood, through his death, through his suffering death upon Calvary's cross, through Jesus' burial, and through Jesus' resurrection, all according to the scriptures, that there is life. And that life is through Jesus Christ. That he that has the Son has everlasting life. And that whosoever, and he that has not the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God abiding upon him, and that wrath is called hell. Your eternal life will be hell without Jesus. And your eternal life can be without hell when you have put your faith and trust in Jesus. You cannot enter heaven by being good. You cannot enter heaven by a membership or a denomination of a church or institute. You cannot enter heaven by being good or doing good. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. That the very salvation of your soul is all upon Jesus Christ. Anything, anyone, any place else is the wrath of God. Because it's, if it's not the Son of God, there is no light. And if I were to say, if you were to die today, would you go to heaven? And the standard answer would be, yes, I'm going to heaven. I would ask, how are you going to heaven? And if you say anything but the finished work, anything but the blood of Jesus Christ, any other answer is wrong. And your wrong answer is an eternal flame of fire in the lake of fire. Because you going to heaven, the answer has to be I have put my faith and trust in Jesus. That Jesus Christ suffered and died for me according to the scriptures. And that he was buried. And that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is my only faith. That is my only trust. I trust in what Jesus
Jesus done. The Jesus Christ of the Bible. The Jesus Christ that is God. I abandon religion. I abandon doctrine. I abandon the world to put my faith in trust and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. And if you are trusting only in Jesus and the finished work, you're saved. You're going to heaven. You can't lose it. It ain't yours to lose. Salvation is not mine. Salvation is not yours. Salvation belongs to God. The almighty God that can save our soul. The almighty God that's unable and cannot ever tell a lie. It's not going to misplace our salvation like we misplace our car key. That the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That is the answer to how I'm getting to heaven. The answer is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There's no other answer. There's no other means to get to God, to get to heaven, except through Jesus Christ who said he is the way, the truth, and the life. And there is no access, there is no means, there is no way, there is no door to God except through Jesus Christ who said, Jesus said, I am the door. Now churches have church doors but that's not the door to heaven. Jesus said, He is the door. The door to heaven is Jesus. It's not a church. It's not a baptism. It's not of works. It's through the door. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved.